The Jeep Grand Cherokee 7 Reserve has always been the best model to get if you want a ton of luxury. So we're going to cover all of that in this review, so stay tuned to find out more. The interior of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, especially the top three trim levels, has always been the perfect place to be. Especially if you have a little bit of extra money to spend, but you don't want to get the off-road model, this is the perfect way to do that. The door panel is composed of some soft material at the top, open portal wood trim with two person memory seats, some gloss black and leather, and all of your switch gear there. We have a little bit of storage at the bottom and a very stylish Macintosh speaker grill. Coming to the seats, we have the best of the best here, Palermo leather in this caramel color. We also have quilted leather on the bolsters and 16 ways of power adjusting, including a massage. We'll have illuminated door sills at the bottom here that will illuminate in the dark. So overall, just walking in, it's already great. Now let's get in here before it's too cold. So right off the bat here, let's talk about the steering wheel. We have a very nicely leather wrapped steering wheel with some wood trim right here because this is the top Summit Reserve model. This will also be heated. However, you do have to control that over in the center. Now the gauge clusters will be completely digital, which is a nice thing to have in late 2023. And this will be completely customizable with the buttons to the left. Materials will be the best in this Grand Cherokee. This costs $70,000, so what do we expect here? We've got soft touch material at the top with this nice caramel colored stitching, open pore wood trim and leather. And we also have a ton of gloss black in the center which is not the best if you don't like fingerprints, but does look pretty premium. Now we have weather on the armrest, and we also have some more gloss black on the buttons up here. Now coming to storage, this has always been a string for the Grand Cherokee. This is a bigger car, so you'll have a lot more storage than those smaller cars. We have a very deep center console here with even a second bin if you close that up. Now, closing that up, we have a wireless charger down here and two cup holders to keep your drinks in place. Now, let's bring our attention to the climate controls. So, we have completely physical buttons and knobs here, and you can control it completely right here. If you don't want to do that, you can use the screen, which does work relatively well. We have all of our modes down here, the defrost, and we have three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats, and the heated steering wheel will be found right there. Now let's turn that on for now, and we also control our fan speed with this button in the center and the driver and passenger temperature right there. Now if you do want to use the infotainment system, this will be our temperature dial, and we also have the fan speed right here. So let's bring our attention to the rest of the infotainment system. We have the latest Uconnect 5 system that works very well and is very intuitive. We have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and I had no problem pairing it to my personal iPhone. Now the pairing process is very simple, you just have to do a couple steps and a verification, and you're in. Now the widgets on this homepage are completely customizable, as you can see I could just add a widget right here. So let's just do now playing, and then you can see what we have right there. Now. We also have a Wi-Fi hotspot that is not working right now, and we have Amazon Alexa, which is nice. Now, we also have a massage, so if I push that button, that will bring up our massage page. Let's see. Yep. So you could control all the different massage modes, like waterfall. Let's see. Waterfall, rock climb, those are the two weirdest names. This is also for the passenger side. Now coming to the backup camera, we do have a full surround view and a rear view. You also can take a look at the front and a different angle of the front. Now you have active trajectory right here and this works very well. This is especially good if you want to take this off-roading, which you probably shouldn't because this costs a lot of money. The shifter will be a simple rotary dial that works very well. 
here we have our air suspension settings and our different drive modes so let's say if you go into sport mode that will actually lower the air suspension one notch Now up top, we have a completely digital rear view mirror that can be optioned with digital or normal. So there is my camera right there. And even if you have a ton of cargo or a bunch of people, you still can see through that with this digital mirror. Now up here, we have the home link controls and we also have a full panoramic sunroof that stretches all the way back to the second row. Now on most cars, the passenger side is usually a boring place, but definitely not the case with this Grand Cherokee. We have some nice wood trim, memory seats, and your switch gear with some storage down below. We have 16 ways of power adjusting, massaging, and the same Palermo weather with the quilted bolsters. Now what makes this so interesting is this panel right here. You might be thinking that's just some gloss black that's just in your face, but definitely not. Take a look at this button. Push it and a screen will come on. Now you can use this to watch videos, watch movies, anything you want while you're on a road trip. You even have navigation here so that let's say the other parent could go look up something and you can even send it to the main screen. But the more you go over here, the less you can see the screen and that will keep the driver from being distracted. Now you can even pair wireless headphones and an HDMI cable if you want to play video games. Now you have some nice wood trim here and some aluminum and the glove box is a good size with felt lining. This is a great place to spend time if you don't want to do the driving and definitely worth fighting for. So as you might have seen on the exterior, this is a pretty big vehicle for not having a third row. So let's see if you get any of that extra space in the second row. Starting with the door panel, we have that same quilted leather and a power lock with the window, a little bit of storage down below and a window shade, which is very nice. This is an option. So I'm very happy that we got it on today's tester. The seats will be the same Palermo leather with the quilted bolsters, however they are not as soft as the front seats. These will have the ability to recline. Now back here, this is definitely a nice place to be if you can't get the passenger side. I have a ton of legroom here and I even have my own climate control. The big deal about this is that both sides get their own climate control. So the dog over here, if he wants it really hot, then he can have that. But if I just got back from a run and I want it really cold, I can have that as well. And the even better thing is that you get heated seats and ventilated seats, three stages of both. Now that is something that you don't see every day, especially in a $70,000 car. So that is definitely worth paying for. Let's just turn that off really quick. And let's take a look here. We have a nice seat back pocket that can fit quite a bit of things and the weather is really soft. Now without there being a third row, let's go ahead and get into the cargo area. Now I mentioned that this is a pretty big vehicle for not having a third row. So let's see if that pays off in the cargo area. Now to open the trunk, you just wave your foot underneath the bumper. And that should open up just like that. You have exactly 37.7 cubic feet of cargo room, and that is a lot for this size of a car. You have a cubby on both sides, and you also do not get a handle to pull to lower the second row. If you do lower the second row, that will give you 70.8 cubic feet, which is a good amount. To close up the trunk, you can just push this button, it will beep, and then you just walk away.